Hey folks, Vince from hoverboardsforless.com again. We're gonna address the issue of fires in hoverboards. So what we've discovered is um, lithium ion is a really stable power source. They've been using it in Tesla cars and Toyota cars and Segway units for the last 10 years. The issue isn't the battery, although the better batteries you get, the less likelihood that you're gonna have a problem. These are Samsung batteries. We either get Samsung batteries or LG batteries in all of our units. So this is the power source for a good hoverboard, okay? Um, I think the, the problem is, is that some of these units are getting overcharged. You have a charger that has some diodes in it, and the best chargers will have a fan. So you can see there's some slots in this where a fan can run and keep the charger cool. But probably the most important thing is don't leave your machine on a charger plugged into the wall for more than four hours. It only takes two hours to charge one of these batteries up full. Okay, so supervise your machine while it's being charged, plug it in for two hours, and then unplug it, and you won't have any problems. Number two, never get your machine wet. These units don't have a seal between the hub motor and the inside casing. So if you're out there riding, even if it's not raining but the pavement is wet, conceivably you could get water inside the casing, it could get into the battery, lithium ion and water do not mix. I've seen them burn. Um, pretty exciting really. So good chargers, good batteries, buy from someone you trust, um, that's it.